everyone. Hi, everyone. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Um, tonight's vlog, we just want to start out uh, going back to our last one. Uh, Hi. When we... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> when we talked about asking you to... Hi. <laughs> okay, bud. They know. They know. Hi. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? Hi. Hi. Come on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Well, we want to start tonight's vlog with just going back to our last vlog when we asked you guys to let us know if you were thinking about us, praying for us, encouraging, um, if you were following the videos, the vlogs, anything like that. And we were very much overwhelmed by the response that we got. Um, we had no idea that so many of you were watching and just following the journey that we're going on. So we just thank you so much for being a part of our lives and we're so grateful and, and humbled that we get to be a part of your life and that you're praying for us and thinking of us and just thank you very much. Um, it really, really means a lot to us. Um, also, one of the things that we realized was how f far spread uh, our testimony has gone and how far God has allowed this message to go um, our trials to go so that he may get glorified through that. Uh, so what we'd like to do right now is just a little something fun and share with you all the different areas um, that people are praying for. So Kia, you want to start that? Yeah, so um, just the different states or areas. We've got Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Arkansas, West Africa, West Virginia, and Arizona. And then within Maryland, we have Sykesville, Westminster, Union Bridge, Tarnytown, New Windsor, Hagerstown, Uniontown, Clear Spring, Manchester, and Eldersburg. Now, if we forgot your place of living, whether it be a city, state, country, or continent, um, please let us know. Um, this is really not about us and how awesome we think we are or anything like that. What it is is just how far this message uh, of God's goodness, of his grace, of his mercy has been able to go. And as part of why we do this vlog is just so that God can be known. Um, and so it's just neat to see that that's happening yeah. um, through something that has been both painful and very joyful to us. Yeah. Uh, so... Tomorrow is a big day, and I'll let Kia explain a little bit more about that. Yeah, so most of you probably know, but tomorrow is our transfer day, and so it's exciting, and um, you know, but we also have some anxiety about it Very a little so. bit. You know, it's just an emotional time, and there's no done deal, so um, it's our best chance of getting pregnant, but it doesn't mean that we're going to, and so it's just a lot of emotions come with it. You know, we're excited and hopeful, but we're also, you know, nervous about, you know, what would happen if it's comes back negative and so um, we just try to stay focused on the Lord and just have faith that he'll see us through no matter what and um, but anyway so tomorrow's a really busy day for us um, Jeremy's gonna go to work in the morning and he'll be there until like 10 30 or so and then he'll drive an hour back to pick us up and then we'll drive an hour to go <laughs> we don't know if you can see Judah's moving all around all right, buddy go go play <laughs> so anyways, um, then we'll drive an hour to Rockville. Um, I need to be there around 1230 and then the actual transfer will occur um, around one o'clock. And so if you're going to be praying tomorrow, um, that would be a great time to be praying just that everything would go well and be successful. And, um, and then the next couple of days, you know, I'll just have to take it easy. I'll be on bed rest for about 12, 24 to 36 hours or so. And then just really light activity for the next few days after that. And so um, that's what our schedule looks like. But and tomorrow, uh, not only is it just a big day, but we also, Ki and I, have to make a choice uh, about something and um, talk to our doctor about that. And so what we'd like to ask for your prayers are unity on that decision, uh, both 
he and I be on the same page about the choice and then that our doctor would be on the same page about that. Um, so please be in prayer about that. Um, so yeah, uh, and also just peace and comfort and, and that we just put our full trust in God, put our full hope um, and everything of that, just uh, basically trust in his everlasting arms. So we thank you for that. Yeah. And, um, oh, yes. Yeah. So um, some of you, I, we know that you guys are going to be anxious to hear whether we're pregnant or not. And just for a heads up, we won't know tomorrow. Um, we won't know for a couple of weeks. It's just the same process as if you got pregnant on your own. You know, it's ovulation time. And so um, we will let you know when we find out. Um, obviously, we're going to want a little bit of time for ourselves to process what's happening, regardless of if it's a positive or negative. Um, but we will let you know as soon as possible. Many of you guys know with Judah, we let you guys know the same day that we found out. So um, we will let you guys know. Um, but we just wanted to give you a heads up that it will be a couple of weeks until we share that news with you. So, so again, um, 1 o'clock tomorrow, if you could be praying then, um, and then just any time after that, that the embryo would attach. Is that correct? Implant. Implant. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm learning too. Even <laughs> this is my couple times around now. Uh, so that it would implant, and that God, uh, our, what we've been praying for is that God would continue to let that life grow uh, healthy and uh, just continue to grow inside of Kia and both mother and child would be safe and healthy. So um, pray for what you like, but that's what we're praying for. Yeah. And we'll keep you updated. And uh, again, just thank you so much. Glory to God. We thank you and have a good, well, not good night. Yeah, have a good night. If, if you're watching at night. <laughs> if you're watching in the day, have a good day. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs>